primitive uh, data types that is value types from one activity to another okay this is our first episode of data passing tutorials we're going to see how to pass data from activity to activity activity to fragment fragment to activity etc okay so we're going to be seeing that one now this is our first one we want to see how to pass strings integer and boolean from one activity to the other let's say for instance we have this edit text for instance let's come right here i really like using the uh, spaceship names so we say our spaceship right here is cassini then of course the id this is an integer let's give it 24 technology exists we're going to say no a boolean we call send method our it sends data to activity right here you can see cassini okay you can see our data right here in our checkbox of course our and our edit text okay that's it what if we want to send more for instance we can come right here select let's say pizza okay then of course we give it maybe an id of 34 this same round technology exists we call send is going to send it right here you can see we have our data okay that's it this is what we're going to see guys passing data from one activity to the other integers booleans and strings of course tutorials actually more interactive so the first thing i'm going to point to right here of course to uh, our website where you guys are going to download of course the source code we're going to leave the link down below you're going to download the source code over right there and then we are going to start from there you import we tell you how to import it to android studio then we go step by step okay it's going to make us more efficient but it's also going to save you guys more time because we will not have to retype the code every time we have a tutorial so you can see right here this is the tutorial just come right here this is a direct link click it is going to download of course a zipped file to your machine that's our source code so you can see these are the only steps that we we're going to follow right here first we create or download the project of course we we'll move over to our layouts then then our two classes and that's it all right so you can see of course this is the screenshot of our application we've seen how it works let's come start with how to download our project well this is the thing you download it you'll get a zip file open android studio close any open project go to file new import project we have our android studio right here so we can just go ahead and see it come right here come to import project then browse over to where your project is for instance let me say mine here is here in the whatever then of course you come click the project then click ok it's going to import it okay to android studio once it's imported it then of course we move over to our layouts of course for the project right here they are going to be for instance uh, the builder cradle we're just going to leave them the way they are we're not modifying them of course they are also the manifest we're not modifying them instead we're going to come and to move over to our layouts right here as you can see first our content main which is of course our activity layout so we just come right here you can see uh this is our content main okay no in fact th th this is uh, this is our activity main layout i'm going to correct it in a short while that's our activity main our content main is right here i'm going to also paste it right there okay this is our content main dot xml you can see we have of course this uh our input text right here our edit text we have the more material edit text right there we have our checkbox we have our button does it the source code we are having it of course right there in our website then of course activity second this right here is the layout for our second activity okay our second activity right here the activity that's actually going to uh, be receiving our data this particular activity all right so this is the layout right here we have it okay of course activity main right here it shall get generated by android studio so for us we come now the next thing once we are through with that one we're going to move over to our project so let's to our code okay our java code let's come right here to our website we move over to our code the first of course we're going to start with our main activity now what are we doing inside our main activity of course we just first declare all these our views right here 
then of course we're going to call the initialize views method this particular method is going to initialize all our views that we're going to use our widgets that we're going to use then when our floating action button right here is clicked we're not floating action button when our send button is clicked we're going to call the method send data so this method send data is going to send of course our data to a second activity so first we just get the value of our edit text okay if the first one is a string the second one is an integer right here we get a string then of course we pass it to an integer the next one is a boolean we get it from our checkbox we simply check if it's checked it can either be true or false so that's the value that we're going to be passing now to pass data between our activities you need an intent so we come right here we instantiate our intent then we're going to call the put extra methods then you simply specify the key and of course the value for instance the name key these are these keys are what we are going to be using of course to identify uh, our data actually to unpack them right there then once we sent the data we're going to set these ones to empty then we simply call the start activity now if you come to that second activity we also have views right here that are going to display okay then of course we just initialize them then now to get our data we get intent from this particular activity get intent then get string extra we simply pass in the key okay now for the uh, string we call get string extra for the int we call get int extra for boolean we call of course get boolean extra now being that integers and of course our boolean right here are value types what we're going to do we're going to be passing the default values for instance integer right here the default value is zero then of course uh, boolean the default value right here of course is false okay then of course we show a toast message then we show the data the, we show those particular data of course in our text views and of course our checkbox okay that's it guys that's of course what we are going to uh, look at okay now once we've done that one of course the next step is just to run your project by clicking right here is going to uh, run our project and of course this is what we're going to be having uh, right here right that's it